Hey everybody, Lacey here, coming to you with a very different kind of video today. So I've been wanting to make this kind of video for a long time now, and now feels like as good a time as ever to do it, really. So I'm gonna be walking you guys through my home studio recording setup. A huge thank you to DistroKid for sponsoring today's video. DistroKid makes music distribution easier than ever and they're a huge part of my home studio setup. So a little more info about that in just a little bit. So come on, let's get to it. So let's start with the basics. I'm using a 4K Retina iMac from 2017 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. I upgraded the hard drive to a Fusion SSD drive so everything runs really smoothly and my software libraries boot up quickly. My dog of choice is and always has been Logic Pro X. I'm a big fan of the UI. It makes my workflow seamless to produce quick mockups to send to clients and weekly covers that I do. My pride and joy of my setup is my Universal Audio Apollo Twin Duo Thunderbolt interface. I saved for about six years to afford this interface and it's the best money I've spent in some time. Crystal clear preamps, easy Dawn software integration, and incredible plugins for all of my vocal needs. Speaking of vocals, my vocal setup is something I'm very proud of as well. It's gone through several iterations, but what I'm working with now is my Shure SM7 dynamic microphone into the Apollo using the CLA vocal suite combined with an API 550 EQ, Universal Audio 1176 compressor simulator, and built-in Logic Pro X limiter. Besides making video game covers on YouTube, I'm also an independent producer, and a big part of being independent is figuring out how to get your music heard. That's where DistroKid comes in. DistroKid makes uploading your music to streaming platforms a breeze. DistroKid gives you three annual plan options to best suit your needs. The Musician Plan, which is $19.99 for one artist. The Musician Plus, which is $34.99 for two artists with several options to customize your release. And the Label Plan, which is $79.99 for five plus artists. I initially signed up for the Musician Plus plan since it was best for my needs at the time. And DistroKid has been so kind to upgrade me to the Label Plan to ever expand my options and plans for the future. Everything you need to upload your songs through DistroKid can be found on this single upload page. As you can see, you fill in all the appropriate fields with your metadata, and they even have seamless Apple Music and Spotify integration. If you're like me and you make covers, guess what? DistroKid also offers a cover license of $12 per year, and they make sure songwriters are paid what they should be. It's just one extra step in your upload process to add in the songwriters' names and be sure you've checked all your boxes, and then you're done. It's really that easy. DistroKid clears licenses fast to be sure your release comes out on time. And because of DistroKid, my covers are starting to appear on streaming platforms. You can now listen to my cover of Still Alive from Portal and Devil Trigger from Devil May Cry 5 everywhere. Ready to get started? Use the link distrokid.com slash VIP slash Lacey to get 7% off your first year. I'll link that down below. Besides my vocal setup, I'm also really proud of my current guitar setup. Uh, the guitar that I'm using is a custom-made Aria by Timber Guitars, based here in the US. And I'm currently running the Aria through the Universal Audio Apollo into Logic Pro, and I'm using the Amp Sims based on there. Uh, depending on the project, I'll also use the Universal Audio Marshall plugin, but uh, I'm always open to new amp sounds, so be sure to comment your favorite Amp Sim down below. Another huge part of my studio setup is this keytar. Now, if you've seen any of my videos recently, you'll recognize this beast. Uh, this is an absolutely incredible keytar that Roland released called the Axe Edge. And I've been using this uh, for a lot of leads, but also I've been using it for pads and arpeggiated patterns in a lot of my videos too. So if you recognize a lot of keyboard sounds, they're coming from this thing. <laughs> For my rhythm, I use both my Roland 25 KV drum set and my Machina Micro Beat Pad. The combination of both really give me the punch that I'm looking for in my recording process. Well, that about does it for me for my current recording setup. This is always changing and evolving, but currently this has been the combination that I've really been enjoying and it's been making things very efficient and fun for me. If you like this kind of video, let me know down below. I'd love to show you my live show setup and my streaming setup as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.